We'll talk briefly about this list. It'll be coming out Thursday of this week, May 14th, looks like. Sultai Shinobi Ninja Fei. Euro Shinobi Fei. Shinobi. Shinobi. Fallen Shinobi. So this is a Ninjas, Fairies, Sultai list sporting a Euro and cantrips in order to try and complete the game without getting out tempoed. So what is this list doing? It is playing things like Fairy Seer, which is a Serum Vision's light on a stick, allowing us to scry. We have some fatal pushes to remove things. We have Spell Stutter Sprite to counter stuff. A Bitter Blossom in here, of course. Those cards plus Ice Fang Code will give us flyers, evasive creatures, creatures that could come back and add extra value. What do we do with those flyers? We replace them with Fallen Shinobi Ninjutsu, which is a, if the creature is unblocked, we get to swap it out. You got that? Unblocked, flying evasive, swap it out, and then we get to play cards for free. For free. Do remember the for free part. I didn't. <clears throat> Force of negation here to protect Euro as an alternate win condition, and black sideboard basically to protect our hand or go after our opponent's graveyards or to gain some life. Let's play some Q games, shall we? In before no Pokemon? What are we, why, why, why do we have Pokemon? Why do we have Pokemon, what? As a reminder, we do have our Discord and we have the uh, Pyro Prison Discord as well. Those can be found at those links. Think he means no companions? Yeah, no companions. I don't play a lot of companions. If you want a companion matchup, go to YouTube. Check out Grixis Delver. Just went up last Thursday. No Ninja of the Deep Hours? No. Nope. Only Shinobi. This is Shinobi's list. Ah, that's right, Zale. I forgot. I play them in the deck. I do a write-up about it. I then get a whole bunch of comments about how bad it is. I then do the math for our Discord folks to explain why it's okay. Let's play some magic. All right, we have a lot of removal here. We have a random force of negation. I don't have any creatures. This didn't happen. We'll try to keep this up. <clears throat> Uh, let's put a Polluted Delta. Let's do it a la MTGA drag style. Let's find out what we're playing against. No companion for our opponent, by the way. Breeding Pool. Hmm. The Grazer. The Grazer. Let's go get our Overgrown Tomb. Got all of our colors. Needing some of our fairies or ice fang codals. Could also use lands. That's a uh, a timely bitter blossom. <clears throat> Play that bitter blossom down. Pass the turn. So this is where we'll get the bitter blossom stuff going in. We'll be applying pressure. Maybe I get to shinobi. We're playing against Titan, apparently. We'll allow Farseek to roll here. What is this? Oh, a Triome. Sure. Sure. They didn't have an extra land, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and play Ice Fang main phase here, or second main to get a land, hopefully. A whiff on the land, past turn. No lands for anybody. Search for tomorrow. I kind of want to force a negation this. Gets rid of my Shinobi. 
My opponent is kind of behind on lands. Let's go ahead and force. We have an Assassin's Trophy if they get the Titan down. We're behind a, a little bit on life total here, but not too much, not with the Bitter Blossom. Plus, I have to hit two running lands here for Shinobi to be even a thing, which apparently I can't do. Put a Seer down here. Go ahead and Scry. Uh, I can actually play both of these. We'll take both of those. <clears throat> it's like a draw-redraw here. In with the Flyers. Two damage. At end step, we may fatal push the grazer here. <clears throat> Sorry, in, in our next phase here. In their turn. My goodness, I need to wake up. Another grazer here. It's just a blocker. Just a blocker. They've got those reachy, reachy arms. Yeah, at some point in time, exactly. Let's yield the Bitter Blossom here. Put our land down. We'll draw a Euro here. That was all we were going to do anyway. Going to hit for some damage. And you pass the turn. We're hoping that we get to Assassin's Trophy something here. And we're hoping that the three damage this turn and then the four damage the next turn is going to be enough. I can Abrupt Decay the Grazer if they don't hit anything here. I kind of want to save the Abrupt Decay, though, for the Dryad that I'm sure they'll have. Look, that that thing. Wait till end step here. We're looking okay. We're doing okay. A little Abrupt Decay. Keeping the Assassin's Trophy for the Titan. Bitter Blossom trigger here. Waterlog Glow. Let's go ahead and connect for some damage. This is where Shinobi would have been really good. We can Shinobi one of these and, and be in for a ton of damage. This is the second deck list, by the way. All right. Do I want to play this down? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I want to Assassin's Trophy and possibly pop Waterlog Grove here. We're in a great spot with 10. This is a secure Tribe Elder. Let's go ahead and pop Waterlogged. See if I can hit anything else that interests me. <coughs> Answer so far is no. That's okay, though. We hit for enough here that the following turn will be lethal. Following turn will be lethal. There we go. Five damage. We have Assassin's Trophy online through the Astrolabe. My opponent has their sixth land here. It's a mountain. Could get scape shifted. Could get scape shifted. Gaining three life doesn't change that. Valakut tapped. Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like we're gonna get scape shifted. Primeval Titan. Let's see what they go get here, I suppose, right? This is a mountain. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I hit this, they go get a basic. They're only gonna get able to hit one. I don't see this hurting me. Well, Assassin's Trophy, the Valakut here, so they don't get a double trigger. And I think they're pretty dead anyway. Could be wrong. So they go get a mountain. <clears throat> They're going to go get a Valakut plus a Mountain and be able to do three to something. 
we should be good here. So it's like, yeah. So they shoot Ice Fang here. That's fine. Bye bye, Ice Fang. And then we have four damage in the air because they block one of these, and I have the other five fairies. Nice. <clears throat> It'd be hilarious to get our own scape shift off of a shinobi. Alright, spell star sprite's not bad either. Okay. Collective brutality and thought seizes all do look nice here. Fatal pushes look awful in this matchup, although the arbor is something that could block a bitter blossom. Bitter blossom did okay. Bitter Blossom will speed up the clock for my opponent. Force of Negation looks okay in case they do play Scape Shift. I want to keep the Assassin's Trophy. The Abrupt Decays are okay too because they'll get rid of the Dryad. And getting rid of the Dryad is probably almost worth the Fatal Push. Hmm... Thought seizes do feel really good though. I think I'm just gonna bring four thought seizes in and just dance with my life total a little bit. <clears throat> See how that goes for us. <coughs> See how that goes for us. Sand doesn't have a whole lot. Let's keep it. My opponent's mulled the five cards here. We'll be able to turn two Force of Negation. Just casted. Not any of the weird exiling. My opponent mulled a lot too. So maybe we get lucky here. Maybe we get lucky. I might be just attacking with a Noble Hierarch this game. So we're going to fetch basic forest snow covered to be exact because we're playing an astrolabe deck. More cards beats fewer cards? Sometimes. Sometimes. All right, let's go ahead and fetch here. Opponent has Veiled? They might. I don't think I really care about Veil too much. We're going to put Seer in, we're going to put Noble Hierarch, we're going to swing for damage. By the way, the blue is interesting here to see. I don't want either of these. <laughs> I don't want any of that. Noble, swing with two damage. Triggers. Next thing we'll be doing is leaving up Force of Negation, hitting for some damage with the Seer, see if we can do this. It appears to be Rug, because of the blue, but we saw so many non-blue fetches and everything last time. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Where's my Shinobi? That's a great card. Now we're just playing Tempo here. We're going to hit for three damage past turn. We have the Ice Fang at end step or the Force of Negation. Either works. I don't think I want to shuffle with my Misty or Polluted Delta because we know there's two nasty cards at the bottom. What is my opponent doing here? Just playing Ice Fang. I can still cast the Force of Negation. Pretty, pretty good. That's pretty good. It's all pretty good. Attack with Seer, pass turn. Can spell stutter, put more creatures on the board. I can abrupt decay something nasty. I can force a negation something. One, two, three, one, two, three. Six mana available to us. I wonder what they kept. I will pretty much counter anything at this point. <clears throat> Can't do anything about that. Not immediately, at least. Now I can. Abrupt Decay, pass the turn to us. No fetch. Um, we'll just play a Seer down and uh, play our land. We're not going to crack these unless we have to. Bottom, we're going to top this fairy, put another Polluted. 
We're doing that because the more fairies I have, the more effective this spell stutter sprite is. We got the GG's about the mall to five. <clears throat> I won't count them out yet. Maybe they have a good three drop or something. Search for tomorrow suspended. <clears throat> we'll take the top of the library. We'll play it out. One, two, three. This would be the fourth. We'll bottom this card. We'll put this one on top. We're pretty good now. We can attack for three. <clears throat> spell stutter plus a spell stutter. One, two, three. I probably just jam the spell stutter into anything. We'll probably take this one down. Five mana. So this will be five damage. And this will mean that Wooded Foothills can't be cracked here. Not to mention the spells that are Sprite for backup here. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. I got something. Beast Within. Trying to think if there's a reason not to. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. This will be five. Let's go ahead and force a negation that. This way they can't crack here, and I have the spells that are sprite. They'll get the search for tomorrow off, but they can't crack to go play Titan. They'll need exactly a basic. And if they're playing Titan, I, it won't matter. If they bring the light for something, we can counter it. You like countering the search? I I think we're we're pretty good. They needed another land drop there, and then if they're just playing Titan, we win. Death by Dorks. A little bit, a little bit. Well, let's go again. Let's play another one. <clears throat> I think I got time for another one. We just made time. All right. This hand, uh, not so good. Not so good. We'll mulligan this. No lands. Well, that one land. One land, sorry. We'll keep this. We'll keep this. We'll see if we can show the power that is the Shinobi. Don't thought seek the opponent. Good. Basic forest. Is this the same opponent? No. No. It's a different opponent. Uh oh. Simic Growth Chamber. It's the same deck, different opponent. Hmm. Intriguing. I don't need that much green in this list. We're gonna play a seer we're fetching so that I don't have to worry about the scry. I'm gonna put the abrupt decay on top. We may need that. Unfortunately, because I played a snow covered island, I won't be able to play it next turn, but I can play it the following turn. We'll have to play the waterlog grove more than likely. Could just leave the Starks look short and never be played. Never be played. We'll just pass the turn here. Seer's not going to do a whole lot for us at the moment. It's true. It's true, Gas Chamber. <clears throat> a bouncy land. B -b -b bouncy land. Bounce is probably basic forest here. Seems like a very slow hand my opponent kept. Let's 
start with an astrolabe. Not a bad one to draw. Ice Fang is a good one. All right, let's let's test to see if they understand their little sloth grazer thing has reach, and it does. All right, so they're gonna have four mana, a fifth mana here. I want to kind of just abrupt decay the arbor and get in, but I could also just ice fang and leave the abrupt decay for something like whatever this is. Teleria West. <clears throat> They're going to go find what? What are we going to go get? <clears throat> Steve? Cavern of Souls. Okay. Explore. Plays Cavern of Souls into play. So we have six mana here. The giant. Amulet. I probably have to kill that, don't I? I want to get the Fallen Shinobi down, but their deck doesn't have a lot of hits. It doesn't have a lot of hits for us, so it's probably just smarter to Abrupt Decay this. I can just play the Ice Fang off of Dark Slick Shores being tapped. I presume a block here. We should have had our land down, but it'll be okay. <laughs> Ironically, our whole evasion is not working very well here. The grazer is stopping us. They are clear. They have a cavern. <clears throat> Question is, do they have like... Okay, they do have the the giant. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> the giant arrives. Get a couple tap lands, presumably. Larry West, Forest Field of the Dead. So we'll just play an Ice Fang and see what we hit here. I feel like we could be hitting a lot better things. Our opponents are able to block our basic creatures. Plus they're a deck full of ramp. Fallen Shinobi doesn't care about ramp. Fallen Shinobi wants to hit the great things. Oh, double Shinobi, apparently. If I attack, is there something that I could hit that I'd want to play? I mean, I suppose. We could replay this seer and set ourselves up as well. That's what I'm thinking. A, a prime time's about all I really want to hit. All right, Shinobi in. We wanted to do this anyway. But yeah, prime time would block their prime time. It would be fun. This is why we're playing the list, to Shinobi in. Here we go, what do we hit? <laughs> hit our Ancient Stirrings. <laughs> sure. I'll cast an Ancient Stirrings. I hit an Astrolabe. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I hit a card that I could play. Sure. 
Ancient Stirring finds Astrolabe. <laughs> it's not very good. Astrolabe finds the Fallen Shinobi. The Great Fallen Shinobi. So this is not really what we want happening. We don't want to hit a whole bunch of Shinobis. We want to hit like two. All right, we're going to go ahead and F6 here. My opponent's got free reign on us. Probably won't be very good for us, but hey, it's going to happen. Kraven Skyliv. Hey, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome. You get these sweet emotes that you can use all over Twitch. Thank you. Look at them howls. <clears throat> all right, Feel the Dead doing its thing, making a dude. Of course, of course. Look at them emotes. The team coming in clutch. Teleria West. One, two, three, six. I'm gonna go get the Dryad. They're gonna then swing with Prime Titan. Go get two Valakuts and destroy our lives. Summoner Pack, they're just going to go get another Prime Dime. That's a pretty good hit. Now they're just going to have a bunch of zombies. And they have the Grazer, and then they can block the Fallen Shinobi as well. We're probably good to go to game two here. Right? I don't believe I have an out here. Look at all these. Yeah. Even if I get the Shinobi and I connect, the deck is just full of ramp. This is actually not a very good Fallen Shinobi counterpart here. Gonna hit an island. Yeah, we're not hitting anything. Game two, game two, let's go. Damping Sphere can come in here. Thought Seizes. Assassin's Trophy. All of this seems good. I'm gonna get rid of two Shinobis. I'm gonna get rid of the fatal pushes. Let's go down one damping sphere. Go down one thought seize. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. <clears throat> Hmm. Bitter Blossom's probably our ticket to winning this. Force of Negation stop packed, which is good. Euros. Maybe I want one. Well, we gotta have something that attacks. Maybe I maybe I drop one Euro and bring a Fallen Shinobi back in. Let's try that. Fallen Shinobi still hits for five. It's still reasonable. And if you get two of them through, that's ten. On all your bitter blossoms or other things, the ninja's cooler. <laughs> the ninja's cooler. All right, let's keep this garbage hand. Let's go. Let's go. Gonna lead with a noble hierarchy here to ramp us out. Then we'll probably do some thought seizing polluted deltas, <clears throat> astrolabes here. There's the grazer. Not about winning, it's about being cool. Exactly. Exactly. All right, let's start with a Astrolabe here. Now I get to double Thought Seize. That seems really fun. That seems really cool. Let's go ahead and Thought Seize number one. We can take Dispute, then we can take Pact. All right, they've got some reaching, but they're out of bounce lands at the moment. And the Grazer is kind of nice for them, I suppose. 
because it ramps them. <clears throat> Can't do much if they have something for the Teleria West. Bounce Slam puts the forest back into hands. We know about the forest. They got a lot that protects them at the moment. Just fetch for a breeding pool right now. And pass the turn, make it look like I don't have any blue up. So we have a Spell Stutter Sprite. That stops the Summoner's Pact, which is good. They might try to go get one of those with Teleria West. That's about the only thing we've got going for us right now. Plays a snow cover. They have a basic force somewhere. That doesn't make Teleri West mana. Azusa. I'm not going to counter Azusa. Plays the other force. We have a Teleri West in hand. That is all they've got. They have six mana. So as soon as they get the Titan, they're online. Shinobi's not going to be hurting anyone, by the way. So we are fetching and looking for lands only because it removes them from our deck, and we don't want any more lands at this point. Thoughtseize draws are bad here. We're looking for just creatures at this point. Shoot. Karn pretty good. Karn stops Astrolabe. They went up with Karn. No, sorry. Went down. Karn's really bad for us. <clears throat> Karn is really bad. So is Walking Ballista. Walking Ballista is horrendous for us. You don't want to play a 1-1 one, one out. Just hold it. Just hold it. All right. Well, we're going to cycle Waterlog Grove because I need to hit something here. I hit the Shinobi. Shinobi doesn't do anything, though. We'll pass turn. So we may see a big walking ballista here. At this point, we can probably concede. And if we do concede, I'll be able to get probably one more match in. We don't concede and we just twiddle our thumbs here. We might just chat for the rest of the evening. Depends what you would like. I don't mind having a conversation. Conversations are good. <clears throat> Karn goes and gets something else here. Spinum ish sa. I can't counter that. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Land. My land. I'm going to play the Spell Stutter Sprite out on the off chance they don't do anything with the Grazer. Apparently, I also just happened to draw another Spell Stutter Sprite. Let's see if I can hit Karn here. Maybe they'll just totally ignore this. <clears throat> Double block. I could play Fallen Shinobi out. Maybe I'm supposed to there. I'm really afraid of a, a island in Teleria West. Now the spine is huge. Amulet's worth countering. Amulet's worth countering. Now I'm glad I did not play Shinobi. Looks like they're going to go ahead and play this Walking Ballista. Walking Ballista shoot down all of our creatures, get in for seven. I think I can concede. We'll just concede before they even start doing that. 
let's go look at what the next card was going to be. Delta, Astrolabe, Dampian Sphere. We're not drawing too much, that's for sure. All right, let's see if I can grab one more. We're going to wait to see who the opponent is. There we go. It's a new one. We'll play this last one here for the evening, and then we'll call it, I think. It'll be a good set of hours that we've played. Hopefully, I can give you a fine final match here. Lands are important. All right, we can do this. Yes. This looks great. Check this hand out. Keep. Ditch a waterlogged, put this into play tapped, go. Look at this hand. Oh, baby. By the way, no one plays apparently anything with the companions in the queues. Everyone has abandoned to the queues here, running away from everything. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fetch shock here. Seems safe enough. And Bitter Blossom passed the turn. We'll have a Spell Stutter Sprite, Bitter Blossom. If I top deck a land, we'll be able to play Noble out as well. And we'll get this going with our fairy side of our Ninja Fae deck. Trying to do aggro, Zale. Trying to do aggro. Is that what's going on? Unfortunately, I can't F6 through this because I have a force. No, no, no. We're not having their tokens larger than our tokens. That's a disaster. That's an absolute disaster. <laughs> no. All right, we get lucky. We get to play our Noble Hierarch down. We have a Spell Stutter Sprite. Up on three currently. Spectral Procession would be potentially counterable, right? Let's see what the next card is. Could be on three. Three mana. Do I care about it enough? Now, the converted mana cost of this is three, right? Should be three. Because it's... Slash, and they paid three for it. So I should be able to counter this. We'll just find out. No, it's six. Whatever. We found out. Got debated. Got debated. <laughs> we got debated, everyone. We're losing. Let's do the Spell Stutter Sprite here. When they don't block, we get to Shinobi them. Yes. I've done this before. I don't ever learn. You expect me to learn? Watch this. We're going to get some sweet cards here. Yeah. These are sweet cards. Look at this. A little bit of ramp. We get a Life Linker. Bait. Lol bait. Got my counter spell back. Hopefully they don't wreck me right here. When will you learn? <laughs> Landing is so good. My actions have consequences. <laughs> what are those? Shocks in here. Gather the townsfolk. How many times do we have to teach you a lesson, old man? I just forget all the time. I forget all the time. Uh-oh, these are two twos now. They're coming at me. I can probably double block one of these. I don't particularly mind double blocking one. It will transform, yeah.
land drop. Gotta attack with three or more. We're just gonna send Shinobi in. Hello. Goodbye. Spritz, spritz. <laughs> I'll kill three of them if they uh, block. No chump block, it looks like. <clears throat> All good. Encounter something on three currently. I can double block the human on the ground here. Smack him for the fallen shinobi. I can send the spell stutter sprite into play. Are we behind? Look at Spectral Procession again. I think I should Spell Stutter Sprite it. Should I do this? I think I'm going to. <laughs> we should probably just put this into play anyway to double block, shouldn't we? Ha! Didn't look like a fool this time. Whoops. I am happy with myself. <laughs> it's a great moment. EE -E for zero. It'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? It'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Bitter Blossom's gonna kill us, probably. What is this card doing here? Thought I got rid of that card. Let's attack and gain some life here. The great shinobi. My opponent's like, what? What? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> what you doing, opponent? They allow this? They're going to path, and I'm going to get them. Oh, Fallen Shinobi. I get whatever their cards are now. Look at this. Path and raise the alarm. Cast. Ta-da. I'm going to path something flying. Da. -da. Ta-da. <laughs> Got them. That was so nice of them. Imagine if we hit our own intangible virtues. Woo. Whoa, 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 no. This is intangible. I gotta counter it. <clears throat> the great fallen Shinobi. Look at the little humans. Look at that shield. That's really cool. I don't feel like a shield with stained glass in it would be very uh, protective. Oh, this is four mana. Two, uh, three. <laughs> okay. Well, I get the flash in here. Oh, yeah. We've played that card a lot. <clears throat> that card goes into Troll Worship. Blocky, blocky. We're still alive. Not by much, though. Not by much. Gather the Town's Hope. Bit of Blossom trigger here. Exalted. No, definitely don't play that. It's a loss of life, not damage. Do 
chump blocks. Shinobi does nothing. I'm going to one here. It's going to be fun. They should just emblem. They should just emblem. They good. They know they kill me if they just emblem. Oh yeah, spell setter sprite. I uh, got all play sets of them. Denied opponent. Denied. Need to give our shinobi trample? Rancor? Usually there's not so many little things to be in its way. This is an interesting matchup. There you go. They know what's up. Doom Traveler. Doom. Doom, doom. But we're not in red. How would that work? Oh, locks it on Warhammer. That's what I'm talking about. All right, chump it to chump. Going to two, going to one. Another great shinobi. Let us attack with everything. Let's scare the living daylights out of them. Maybe they have a wrath in their deck. Here we go. I'm down with finding out if they have like a wrath in their deck or something. Let's go. Whee! Some random wrath. I'll be at two. Okay, some lingering souls, not bad. Elspeth, a little bit of Conclave Tribunal. What's going on? <laughs> oh, all right, let's see here. So let's cast a lingering souls, I suppose. They can cast it now too. Might win? I don't think so. I mean, Elspeth's pretty good, too. What am I exiling? Maybe I'm exiling Intangible Virtue here? They've messed up. They done screwed up. <laughs> I feel like I just get rid of this intangible virtue. And then we can cast Sarah. I feel like I can make a flying angel now. And we'll cast Elspeth. Let's gain life. Your move opponent. Now it's gonna be hard to win this game. <laughs> gonna be hard to win this game oh they just concede oh that wasn't supposed to happen <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen wow okay we got a little bit of information on what my opponent's playing <laughs> wow okay uh i think assassin's trophy seems okay here Collect a brutality. Spot removal is going to be awkward, but I think it's necessary here. Just get rid of a couple fatal pushes because I have the abrupt decays. Maybe not as many collective. It was a sneaky win. It was. I'm going to really need everything. Get rid of one noble. We're gonna really need a lot. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo. We hit everything. It was great. What are we talking about? That was fantastic. All right, we have bitter blossom again. Let's go. <laughs> Can't be that bad, can it? Maybe you're out this turn. Not a trampler, but a reasonable card. Well, 
there. There's zero. There's a way. Exactly. All right, Noble. Let's do it. Let's win the game. Let's win the game. What, Bitter Blossom next, probably, and a Noble? Get things a cooking. Don't be virtue. Don't be virtue. I feel like I should I feel like I should collect a brutality before they get a something nasty out here. You want a Euro? Just to ramp us more? We can Euro. Maybe they path it. I guess I draw a card. Get a land in play. It's a shame that I don't have Force Negation up. That would have been a hot one, but I don't have any more blue cards. CBBB, CBBBATFONE. There's the triple. There's the triple. There it is. It's the card I wanted to, to devour. I didn't want that card. All right, let's start with an astrolabe here. It's a draw. What are we doing with the brutality, though? Well, there's a force of negation too now. I'm lucky to have gotten the um, card here. So bitter blossom, and then what? Brutality. I could also leave Assassin's Trophy up for like something here. Let's leave Assassin's Trophy up this turn because I have the Force of Negations as well. And then we can Brutality next turn. And if it's something that I don't particularly care about, then I can just maybe Assassin's Trophy it. Yeah, that seems too much. That seems too much. Now I can check the hand. That's a little too much. This Ram's inexperience. My opponent just comes at us for damage here. That's fine. Have at our face, opponent. Bitter Blossom trigger. I've decided what I'm doing this turn. I'm just, I, I don't care. I don't care. This was fantastic last time. Ninjutsu, go. Do it. Ninja off the top would be decent. Well, we got it. We got the Fallen Shinobi. <gasps> Cave plus Sarah. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Sarah. Can make green mana here. Play Noble back down. What do I want to do here? Do I go up? No, I probably just make an angel. Let's just make an angel. I know it'll die. But they'll have to send two things here. If we go up in the intangible virtue, then they just kill it anyway. <laughs> We're playing the Walker deck now. There's Srams. Got a lot of things here. What do you got? An intangible virtue behind this? Lingering souls. Hot bang, opponent. That's a lot of things. 
Oh no. No! Conclave! Alright, what are they gonna take from me? The angel? Oh, they take Sarah's. So if I got rid of Conclave, it'd be bad. It'd be bad. So we're not gonna do that. Hey, I got an angel. It's pretty legit. Pretty legit. Bitter Blossom trigger here. Spell Stutter's not a bad one either. Let's go ahead and... I feel like I can just kill one of these. And then let's go ahead and send some stuff in. Everything lives here. Angel is vigilant. We have a spell stutter sprite here as well. Looking good. Shinobi connects. That would be bad. Easily a jump block here. Opponent, you can't. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> you can't let that happen again. They take five. Uh, we'll just pass the turn. I've got great cards here. I was there for just a little bit, Focus. Just a little bit. I couldn't catch much of it because... Work. What do I have here? One, two, three, four fairies currently. I mean, I guess I can just spell stutter sprite this and I can assassin trophy, maybe like a another threat. Spike did have a sweet deck, though. Don't worry, I haven't tapped weird. Got this card over here. It was a sweet deck, though. We'll probably... I might try running it here tomorrow and record, but no promises. But it'd be really cool to, to run it. Path. Path. All right. Guess I'm going to get Euro Titan out. I should. You're right. We should get rid of that Conclave. That's a great idea. They're going to pass Shinobi, too. Them turds. <laughs> oh. That's their last card. Let them, let them get all excited and attack with uh, just enough things. Plain Brad, welcome back. You're breaking everything, Plain Brad. Doesn't see that. I think this is worth an Assassin's Trophy here. I think so. And I'll, I'll block. I'll block one. I'll block one because Spell Stutter Sprite would be nice to pick back up. Shinobi's getting in there anyway. Bitter Blossom Trigger. Astrolabe. Let's play Astrolabe before I try to play Euro here. One, two, three, four cards. Corrupt Decay. Okay. talk with Fallen Shinobi and Spell Stutter Sprite. We're doing the Spell Stutter Sprite because then I can get Euro back. Euro needs five cards, I believe. And we have four. So if they can chump block this for me, Euro is going to be showing up. And they don't want Fallen Shinobi to hit them anymore. They're tired of that. So looks good for us. Euro's on the line. Let's go ahead and get a Euro back. Let's make blue. Blue. Green, green. I'm not going to take any damage. I don't need to be doing that. And we got Euromeister down. We have an Abrupt Decay online looking pretty hot. I'm going to leave Abrupt Decay open. We can worry about Astrolabe next turn. We have a 6-6, six, six, a 5-4, got a couple flyers. Going to take a point of damage. We'll be at 13 and my opponent's got four tokens. Plus, they have my Sarah under their conclave. That's unbelievable. I can't believe they took that from me.
Can't believe it. Unbelievable. Look at all these look at all these plus one plus ones are gonna get. This is a little greedy, but I don't mind. Let's take care of one of the flyers here. If I top deck a Shinobi, I'll have two flyers to get through with. They're gonna be chump blocking Euro and Fallen Shinobi anyway. This is only six damage, so I feel pretty safe doing this. Bitter Blossom trigger here, we'll have a redraw. We have a, we have a couple redraws. Let's, uh, let's start with a redraw here. Okay. Let's do another redraw here. Still have five man open. We're gonna go ahead and attack. Let's go ahead and do some attacking now. We can kill a lot of things. We'll take our draw of Euro Titan. Give me a Shinobi. Oh, give me a Shinobi. The land draw. Let's go ahead and fatal push the flyer here. I win? Yes, I do. Because I'm going to kill everything. We're going to kill the life linker next. However, it was kind of cool to see if we'd hit another shinobi. And there you have it. Sultai Fallen Shinobis Phase Ninjas here in Modern. There will be another three matches that go up on Tuesday on our YouTube. So go hit that subscribe button if you uh, you want. You can get that notification when that goes live. There you go. Little teaser. Little teaser. Sultai Noble Shinobi Fei. That 2 a.m. notification? What if I move it to 4 a.m.? We put it at 2 a.m. for all the European folks. I have a feeling a lot of people are in Europe from our from our uh, YouTube channel. A lot of them seem to be at a different time zone. This is the list, though. Fallen Shinobi Fei. <laughs> Euro Fallen Shinobi Fei, Euro Shinobi Fei, Ice Fang Noble Shinobi Fallen Euro Fighting Fei. In mod.